Hey everybody, welcome back to I Bought the Popcorn. Thank you all for clicking on this video. If you guys are new, my name is Stephanie. Today, I am very excited because we're gonna be watching the official trailer for Bad Boys for Life. I am a huge Bad Boys fan, so let's get on with it. trailer loved it um so michael bay is actually not gonna be directing this uh film like he did the previous two but i did see a lot of michael bay in here so i think the directors is actually gonna be two if i'm not mistaken were definitely on the wwmbd what would michael bay do i mean that opening scene just to start off with i mean could it get any more michael bay than that <laughs> so we're also gonna get vanessa hudgens charles milton in this i'm um, joining the team i mean it's gonna have a january release date which is kind of like mm. um you know for a movie like this i feel like maybe it should have been released the summer i think this would have been a really nice like summer release maybe kind of like what avengers did like at the end of april you know have it beginning of the may um or even have done it like for like spring break release so i don't know if they're doing it just far so they don't compete with something else so they can have better like numbers at the box office i mean that could be the strategy going in this one um i would wouldn't mind for this to be the last one just kind of finish it off with a nice little trilogy i feel like you know Three parts to a movie is more than enough. It's really great. Just kind of officially close off um, their storyline. So them even retiring or even one of them retiring, I think would be a really good idea. I would actually like for something to happen to Mike. Like honestly, all, like, all the bad luck that Marcus always gets, I would like for Mike to get something happen. Even though he's all like swag and like, fucking, like you know, he's Mike. Especially if this is gonna be how we're gonna close it off. I just want one little thing to happen to him. One. Even if it's him falling or I don't know, they throw a gun at him, he doesn't catch it and like it literally just passes right by him. Not because he didn't catch it because it was a bad throw by Marcus. But just something like, you know, just something small. I mean I would prefer something big, you know, poor Marcus got shot in the ass, he accidentally took some ecstasy. 
you know he's he's had a, a a couple things happen to him so there is this scene with marcus um that i do see him running with the gurney he does have this kind of distress look so I'm wondering if maybe something happens to one of his kids, to his wife. That whole scene at the at the mall where also police officers, I mean that just looks funny as well. Looks like we're going to be getting the bad guys are going to be in like a motorcycle game. I don't know what kind of uh, drug related situation we have going on there because it always ends up being drug related. I mean overall the trailer was very entertaining. It did what it needed to do. It's getting me hot for January now. Um, it is a little bit worrisome. What do you guys think? Are you a little bit like mm, about the January release? Did that even cross your mind? <gasps> Maybe what's gonna happen to Mike because I literally have it paused at a car scene. What if the car doesn't make it? I would be okay. I mean, it's a beautiful vehicle. Don't get me wrong. But that could be what could happen to to Mike. Like, not necessarily to him, but to his beautiful car. More than likely, it'll be Marcus's fault, right? I'm wondering what happened to Gabrielle as well for this film. Uh, will she make some sort of special appearance? Or... Uh, I'm sure they have to at least mention her. I'm sure Marcus at some point is going to say, Oh, yeah, but like... You broke up with my sister. Even though, you know, over 10 years have passed. But, you know, just to be petty. What are your guys' thoughts about this movie? Are you excited? Are you going to pass on it? Hopefully after this, we get Rush Hour 4. Because, <laughs> you know, that's the other one we've been waiting for. You know, Will and Martin have great, great chemistry. And I really hope they do not let us down in this movie. And before you click out of this video, please don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. And until next time, I'll be seeing you guys at concession. Bye.